Hi guys, welcome back to the Indian Project. Today it's a review of the, the Blackstar Dep 10 valve preamp dash distortion unit. There won't be a, an unboxing on this one today guys because this is actually a second hand product I bought. So obviously no unboxing. So with that in mind, let's get to the review section guys and see you in a minute. To the uh, review section of today's episode. As I said uh, earlier, we'll be reviewing this uh, product where you can see here on my right hand side. It's uh, the Blackstar Depth 10 um, and it's a valve distortion stroke preamp. Um, so let's have a look at this, guys. What we have is uh, we have a tr true bypass and we have two channels. Um, the left channel, or channel one if you like, you'll notice there is uh, a little toggle switch here, which when it's in the up position, it's, uh, it's marked down for clean, it's CL for clean. Bring the toggle switch down and it's at CR for crunch. Then we have a level control for that channel and a drive, for a, a driver gain. That's gain one actually. So it's a gain or a drive for, for, for that channel. We have on the um, second channel two, we have the same level and another gain for channel two or, or drive, if you like to call it that. And we have another toggle switch, and these are um, marked as crunch and overdrive. Then we have a cab simulator inside, which has uh, the three pre installed cabs. I think that there's a two. Position one, when it's over to the left, is a 212, and I believe it's a vintage US, so it's probably like a 212 from a Fender Twin or something like that. Then we have a, in the middle position, we have a, a vintage 412. Not sure what it's modelled on, but it's probably some sort of a Marshall-y type thing with uh, maybe Celestian Greenbacks or something like that. Then we come across to the the... the far right hand side for your third selection and again it's a 412 but this time it's a modern 412 all right so that's what we have guys then we have a three band eq here we have a bass middle and treble which is uh, applicable to both channels and we have a um this is a proprietary control for black star i believe and it's the it's the isf control when it's fully counterclockwise, it supposedly gives you like an American clean sound, you know, uh, probably again, some sort of a fender there. there. Um, and as we go fully right, it's more to, it goes after the 12 o'clock position, well, everything from uh, uh, counterclockwise to the 12 o'clock is all kind of cleany, fenderish type things. And as we go from the 12 o'clock, past to fully clockwise or into what's more like a, the British sounds so we'll be in the realms of Voxes going on to Marshalls etc etc um, we have an input for your guitar there's two outputs on the left here the one I'm plugged into at the moment is uh, marked cab so you're actually using the cab simulators in here there is a another output that you could take that and you could take the output of that straight through without the internal cabs and you could bring up um, a plug-in with uh, your own IRs, uh, uh, you know, whatever, uh, and then run them through that, through the Cubase or whatever. So this is what we have, guys, and it's it's all powered by one 12AX7. I'm not sure what it's uh, loaded with. I know that the HR1 amps and things like that had uh, soft tech valves. Not sure if this is a soft tech as well, or it may be JJ or something like that, but it's definitely a 12, 12 x well, I assume it's a 12 x it could be an ECC83, but they're both the same, just different names for the UK market and the American market. Um, I'm not sure of the brand, so if anyone knows the brand, let me know. I don't want to open up and look, but if you know the brand, tell me. So, we'll start off, guys. I'm going to use my Music Man look today. Um, I'm basically going to try it in, uh, well, starting off here in the middle pickup. 
you know, that single coil um, EMG um, SLV pickup. And uh, we'll start off in, as I say, middle pickup. This is in the bypass mode for the pedal. So this is the sound we have in bypass. So this is basically a guitar DI straight in to the interface. <laughs> So basically what I have there is to say straight from the guitar, straight through, through bypass, into the interface. Now, bring in channel one. Now, as you can see what we have set at here at the moment, full level on channel one. I've got the the, the gain about 11 o'clock, just, just below 12. All the EQ are flat, more or less at 12 o'clock. The ISO, um, I'll start that off fully uh, counterclockwise. And that is repeated, reputedly a, a Fendery clean sound, or a US clean sound. Um, and we're in the clean mode with the toggle switch. So what we have now is... So... Full, the, the cab simulator fully switched to the left. The 212 vintage US um, type... Um, cab. And also I must say that within the software you can make, you can pull in other um, cabs that are within the software within the, the Black Star. I don't think yet you can actually import other IRs in. But there's, there's quite a periphery of cabs in there. Anyway, it's got these uh, three built in. As I say, you can hook up that USB in the back into the computer. You can pull in and change the cabs that are in there if you like. But within that menu, there is different mic selections on the cabs, which is great. You know, you've got all the usual, the 50, 57s, the 121s, you know, 414s, four, and all, you know, you got everything in there. So you can mix and match all the cabs and, and, and uh, mics if you like. But it's also got three other stages in it. It's applicable. You can only do this within the software. And each cab has a power selection when it, so you can have it selected between 6L6 valves, EL34 valves, and EL84 valves. And now the EL84 valves are synonymous with things like Vox AC30s. EL34s are by and large, what Marshall use. So that's a Marshall kind of valve that, for that sound. 6L6s are very, very clean, a lot of high headroom. That's predominantly what's in most American fenders and things like that, and boogies, things like that. So you can not only change the cab, but you can change the power stage in it. If you don't like it with the EL34s, when it comes up stock, change it to 84s, change it to 6L6s, and see what um, flavours that gives you, and change the mic. Um, selections around etc etc there's also a resonance um control within the software which is a step from one to five and a presence control which gets one to five when you bring up the cabs the cab that you select comes predetermined with a power stage and a resonance and a presence but they're all changeable within it so let's try this again we're on channel one clean setting Gain dropped down below 12, so it's fairly clean. Maybe just starting to get up there with a bit of air. And we're on the 212 um, vintage American, uh, as I say, like Fender. And that will be in the stock mode with 6L6s. <laughs> Put it in the second uh, cab position. This is now a apparently a vintage 4x12 cab. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, the power um, stage on this one, I think, is set at EL84s. And we have this. I 
I think you can hear, guys, back to cab one. Yeah, you've got that fender, you get more brightness, more jangle, more synonymous with the fendery sound. And in the middle for the 412 vintage, it's a bit darker. As I say, still got a little bit of brightness in there, so that's leading me to believe it is the EL84 power stage being used in this one. Lastly, we'll go to the car, the last cab, to fully to the right, and that is the, this is the modern um, 412, and I think this one comes up default with the power stage set on EL34s. And we have, again, it's quite dark. <laughs> Yep, yeah, still touch a bit, but it's more dark, a bit more thick. So that's what we have. So I think what we will do is, uh, I think I'm going to leave this toggle switch set in the mid position. We'll use the Vintage 412, and I think it is the EL84 power stage, but we'll leave it at that. And we'll run a few things from there now. So as you can see, this everything at, um, EQ wise is at 12 o'clock, so it's relatively flat. We'll do the IS, the, the, the proprietary ISF control. I'll go to turn it fully clockwise now, and you'll hear what it does. So that's more to the US side. We're going fully to the British side, fully clockwise, and we have. You can actually hear it now, it's a little bit more dark. It's still got a little, a little bit of top end, but not so much. But I'm noticing maybe a, a slightly scooped mids, but and it's a bit more thicker and that more like that Marshley. So that's basically run through the thing um, on channel the clean channel. Um, we'll bring in the crunch and then keep everything set again as it was. So we'll go back to the US mode, fully cut the clockwise on the ISF, still keeping the EQ flat, I keep the game where he was, and just bring the crunch toggle switch in. So what now we have now is. <laughs> So you get that real bite from the uh, the US vintage kind of Fender style 212. Switch the cab over now to the um, what would be the, the, the 412 modern uh, modern 412, and uh, we have. <laughs> And now we'll, we'll take the ISF over to the Marshall said fully clockwise, more Marshally sound. <laughs> As you can hear, it's a lot thicker, not so much top end, but basically much, much more beefier. So we'll go back again, start off with the um, fully counterclockwise and the back to the US 212. We'll now go to the, um, the first position on the channel two. Uh, we've got, this time we've got the level um, fully up again, obviously, but we've got gain to around nine o'clock because obviously it's got a bit more gain. We'll, we'll show you that as we progress. And we have this kind of sound again with the 212 vintage fenders. <laughs> Try 
the same thing again with the uh, ISF onto fully clockwise to the mar more martially Brit sound. <laughs> A lot thicker, a lot more meat there, not just uh, in your face brightness. Uh. Um, again, back to the uh, 212 American vintage uh, Fendery type cab. This time we're going to switch channel 2, toggle switch to overdrive. Leaving the gain set where it was, and this is what we have this time. <laughs> Leaving things alone again, going to go from the counterclockwise to fully counterclockwise, and this is the Brit stroke martially sound. <laughs> Again, a lot more meat, a lot more uh, thumping, well, just typically more, a lot more, a lot more martial, if you like. Um, so that's basically running the channels um, to let you hear what each does and what each of the flavours you get from the toggle switch on both channels. Um, the EQ, we'll just demo the EQ a little bit. We'll go back to the more or less the clean. Um, the clean channel on channel one, and we have. Oh, sorry. Right, so we have uh, this back to here. I'm going to put the uh, middle position cab so it's more of an in betweeny for the cabs. And of course, we can. Um, I mean, the, the bottom end, you can hear. And that's full, and that's the bottom end out now. Oh, fully cool. So there is quite a bit of control over your bottom end. Uh, I don't mean what you sit on, but your bottom end on this. Um, let's do the, the same with the, uh, the middle. There you go. Yeah, more scooped as you go, fully caught, fully clockwise, more full clockwise. Bit more mid in there. And then lastly, we'll have the, um, the treble control. We're going to start with that fully counterclockwise with the treble off. And then we'll work our way through to full treble, fully clockwise. So you can see there's a lot of scope there guys, so what I'm going to just finally try here is to set it up like you probably would set your amp anyway, so I'm going to roll the uh, the bass off a little bit on it, uh, probably rolling the treble back a little bit, as you can see guys, and I might just take the mid up a little touch. I'm going to run this uh, at 12 o'clock, the ISF. So what I've basically getting there is apparently is you're going from the counterclockwise to clockwise from like American cleany you know Fendery type type sounds over to clockwise to the Brit kind of a martially sounds, but you get a flavour in between those. So what I'm trying to get is somewhere in the middle middle there. I'm hoping to achieve something maybe Vox AC thirty ish if you like. Um, the crunch, I might bring this up on the channel one just to let you hear how we can go into a bit of edge of breakup from the clean. So, again, here we have that clean. Give a bit more crunch on them. So 
that's your cream channel with a bit with a bit more gain on it. So, you know, you can get a bit of grit in your cream channel without even having to switch the uh, your toggle switch to the crunch mode. And maybe if we take this uh, cab to the 212 um, kind of a vintage Fender US sound, that may be similar to a 212 Bluebells, like in a Vox. <laughs> Right guys, well there you have it. That is uh, today's review, my review on my uh, latest acquisition, uh, which is the uh, Blackstar Dept 10. Um, I mean, we have loads of plugins that we use, but I did, as you've probably noticed in the last few episodes, Ian's been adding a few external hardware things to the front end to try and get that nice analog and warmth that you, you would get that maybe the plugins don't seem to give us. Um, and I thought, well, Rather than using my valve amp and then making it and doing all this kind of stuff, maybe we'll put, we'll buy this uh, Blackstar and we'll try. And I, th I mean, I'm, I, I think it's great. I love it. I mean, I've got a lot of playing about with it because it's, it's new to me. Um, as you saw at the beginning, we've just unboxed this. I'm only playing around with it for the first time. But um, I intend to um, run a few other things in front of that that I would in a live scenario, like a few pedals. Um, and we'll... we'll well, you, you know, you'll see those maybe in the next episode we'll do that. And that will be a, that will be a, a, an MXR Dynacomp and a clone of the Dallas Arbiter uh, Rangemaster, which I did used to use in the years past. Uh, and in my Vox AC30, I, had a, I, had, I did have an original. And silly me, I sold it because uh, they're going for stupid money now. But anyway, I've managed to get myself a clone and uh, we'll be reviewing that. Um, hopefully in the next episode, if not that, the next one again. But uh, we're looking forward to those. So I'm looking forward to putting all this together and uh, and tweaking this. I've got to get really familiar with the EQ section and this IS, ISF control, and indeed the cabs. In fact, I may actually decide to come from the normal output on this and run them uh, um, into a plug-in which I can then put my own um, IRs there because I've got a whole selection of Celestian IRs from 212 Bluebells up to, you know, um, Greenback uh, Celestians, you know, Celestian 25s, Greenbacks, etc. and loads of stuff. So I might try to run it through that and see if I get better results than that. So look forward to that in the, in the future, guys. And we might come back to this at some point when I've actually worked it all out and got everything the way I want it to sound and maybe let you hear what I've done to it and how I've tweaked it. So anyway, thanks for uh, watching, guys. As always, we appreciate your subscriptions, your likes, uh, and your comments, and all that, guys. You know, we're really yeah, thankful of all that. So keep it up, keep coming, keep giving us your comments, let us know what you want to hear, what you don't want to hear, what you want to see, what you don't want to see. You know, just keep talking to us, guys, because we do like to talk, etc. And uh, we'll do what we can to, to sort of please you. Um, so, until the next episode, guys, ciao for now.